describe a law on environmental protection. <laughs> Just like you, this is not my favorite topic, really. But I'm just gonna give you a little example based on, you know, these kind of things. Of course, you can just start off by saying, if there are a lot of laws that you're familiar with, and then choose one that's sort of related to the, you know, environmental protection. So I was thinking about, you know, banning on using plastic, like plastic bags. All these kind of things, but here I'm actually talking about you know like construction noise or something like that. And then use past tense. You can sort of introduce how you knew about it, how you first you know got to hear about this law, and then just use your own knowledge or use your own memory or your own understanding to explain using. One or two sentences, just just it's just to say what it's about. We don't really have to tell, like you know, tell it like a lawyer, tell it like a professional. And then how you feel about it? Do you like it, or do you think it's、mm, not so perfect? Compare yourself with other people. What do other people think? Do they even know about this piece of law? And then finish it with the future tense. It should be okay. Now, let's look at this. Before I start on the topic, I've got to be honest. I don't really know enough about the laws and regulations here in China. If I need to talk about one thing that helps protecting our natural world or surroundings, I might pick this rule. Relate it to noise pollution. In fact, I read about it a few years ago online. That day, some never-ending drilling sound in the, na- in the building or neighborhood was driving me mad, and I wanted to find out if there was something that could be done. You might wonder. What it says on the internet, based on what I can remember, residents are not allowed to refurbish their home at the weekend. Of course, during the week there are limited hours as well. I must say, I'm glad someone made that law. Thanks to it, I would only need to put up with. Eight hours of bang sound on each working day. Plus, on Saturday, I'm able to catch up with some sleep. As well as this, another good thing is it gives me some guts to be able to tell people off. You know, if they are still making a lot of noise late in the evening, I could call the police. And hopefully, get some backup. Still, though, at the same time, there's something I'm not too pleased with. Apparently, some builders still tend to violate the rules. Perhaps it's because they don't really get penalised or anything. When it comes to my friends. They're not really bothered if there's construction noise. According to them, those high-pitched loudspeakers in the square are way worse. Anyway, I hope more and more people can learn about the rules and perhaps follow them too. Okay, so that's part two. Now let's look at part three. What can teachers do to make students obey rules? Well, I suppose there are all sorts of ways. Maybe one thing they can try to do is letting the pupils know why they set up those rules. 
you know, if the kids can understand the benefits, perhaps they could behave better. Mm. All right. As well as this, another possible method could be showing the little ones the consequences. You see, when the children hear about how scary the punishment would be, they might be more aware of what they're doing. Okay, that's it for now. Have a great week ahead. Bye for now.